If you are a man in a failing marriage and you don't know what to do, I'm going to give you three steps that you should take right away. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to share a secret that every husband needs to know about. Welcome, brother, to this video that's going to help your relationship. You know, I know what it's like to be a man sitting in bed at 3 a.m., paralyzed with fear and anguish that my marriage is crumbling and literally only having one person I could turn to in that moment, and that was Google. It's a sad state that that is where a lot of men are at, completely isolated and alone and trying to figure stuff out and really not knowing what to do or how to be and seeing things go downhill. That's a frustrating point, wanting to turn it around, clueless on what to do. Well, let's give you those three steps now that you can do right now. Step number one, do not do what you feel like doing. You heard me right. How we act when we're desperate never facilitates affection from our wife. In the moment when we feel like storming off, asserting our peace, punching a hole in the drywall, it never serves to create what we want. Especially during a time when the relationship is struggling, we have a lot of anxiety and desperation and a lot of tense emotions boiling up in us. And that is going to fuel us to do stuff we'll regret or to show up in a way that's not going to create what we really want. Dare I say, doing the opposite of what you feel like doing is usually the correct thing. So if you feel like yelling, don't. If you feel like buying her a dozen roses and declaring your undying love, don't. If you feel like setting ultimatums and establishing boundaries, don't. A deeper truth does not come from a place of emotion. We need to be neither extremely happy or extremely sad when we're making clear decisions about the kind of man we're going to be. Those standards need to be decided in a place of calm, and then we can hold ourselves to them in a place of uncertainty. So if you're in that place of uncertainty, just do nothing. Think about it. How you've been doing is why you got what you got. Just stop. Don't do anything. Step number two, come to terms with the fact that the relationship is not a thing that can be worked on. It's not a real body that you can put in the passenger seat of your car and drive to the doctors and see if it has a heartbeat. A relationship is this invisible thing that happens between two people. All we can do is work on ourselves. Let the relationship go. There's no amount of therapy or talking about it or pursuing it that makes it exist. We have to just be a man who turns around someday and notices, oh, I happen to have a relationship. What do you know? That's how they follow us. That's how they come to be. Now, this does mean growing the biggest pair of balls you've ever grown and letting her go. It's not just that you need to walk to the courts and start filing for divorce. It's more about letting go of the versions of her you have in your head. Perhaps you hold her on the pedestal as the one and only, the one girl for you that you would never live if you lost. Let that story go. Or perhaps you see her as this evil queen bitch out to get you and that she hates you. Whatever that story is, let that go too. Just let it all go. Set her free in your mind. Stop trying to hang on to something. Just drop it. We all know the saying, if she loves you, she'll come back to you. But in order for that to happen, there is a letting go that needs to happen, an energetic level. And it starts with our thoughts, dropping the thoughts that we've been feeding that cling us so tightly to a version and a story of her in our head. Step number three, let her come to you. Now, here's an irony. In order for her to come to us, we need to be somewhere. So this is something to focus on. Where are we? Are we on the island of despair and misery and grief and anguish? Do we want her to come to us there? Are we on the island of clear thinking, clear intentions, and deliberate actions? Do we want her to come to us there? Are we on the island of happiness, excitement, motivation, and a passion for why we're on this planet and what we're all about as a person? Would we like her to join us there? We need to get razor sharp and crystal clear about where we are before she can feel the invitation there. And this is the work to do over a period of time to establish clearly who we are and consistently be that man so she can feel the invitation to join us at that point. That's letting her come to us where we are. Most of us would admit where we were when we decided the relationship needed help 
wasn't a place that she should be joining. The, the begging, the pleading, the misery, the grief, the anguish, that's not an invitation to a very great place. We need to go first to the place we'd like her to come to. So here's the secret that I promised you. Imagine if there was men, thousands of men all over the world that for many, many years have been intentionally improving their relationships. They've been collaborating together. They've been talking through what has worked for them and what is not. They've taken things off the table that they realized are ineffective, and they've sharpened and simplified the things that they found were effective. Think how powerful that would be. So these secrets that are refined from the collective wisdom of many men over the years are available to you when you are in my coaching program. My masculine confidence framework is not something I made up. It's been fine-tuned, adjusted, and cultivated by many men some good old sage wisdom has been brought into this, and I would love for you to experience it. I've experienced it in my own life, and because I saw how radically effective it was for me, I'm passionate about passing it on to you. Of course, I put my own unique spin and flair on it based on how it really made sense to me and how I communicate and how I experience life. So if you feel like I'm the kind of man that can get through to your thinking and make sense to you on how to show up in your relationship, you should reach out. Use the link below this video to schedule our call. Take care, brother.